There is nothing more we can do. They are the hardest words a terminally ill patient can hear, and some of the most difficult any doctor can say. Now Dr. John LaPook tells us a new tool is helping patients and doctors make decisions about end-of-life care. John, good evening. Good evening, Harry. This is one of the toughest issues confronting our health care system. 25% of all Medicare spending, more than $100 billion occurs in the last year of life, in part because patients get aggressive and expensive treatments that don't work. Give mommy kisses. Mm. Oh, this is a, a card from my son, Henry. 53-year-old Bernadette Wilson treasures each moment with her family, now more than ever. He actually came to me and said, Miss Wilson, it's cancer. And I said, you got to be kidding me. It's a brutal moment that takes yes, your breath away, doesn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It feels like the ground falls out from under you. Diagnosed with advanced pancreatic cancer, Wilson is now talking to her doctors about her final days, which is difficult for them as well. It's relatively easy to formulate a treatment plan and discuss that and focus on that. It's much harder uh, to, again, discuss the limitations of our therapies and the fact that we're all going to die. To make this painful discussion easier, doctors showed her this video. Because you have an illness that cannot be cured. Now being used across the country in 15 healthcare systems to give patients more information about what really happens in the final days of an illness. Videos help to broach a difficult topic and to make it more real and less abstract for patients and their loved ones. Most of the time in patients with advanced cancer, CPR does not work. The videos cover a variety of illnesses, cancer, heart disease, dementia, there are typically three options. The first, prolong life at any cost, including breathing tubes and CPR. The second offers only medical treatment, like chemotherapy and antibiotics. Finally, there's comfort care, which may include medical treatment, but which focuses on relieving suffering. Pressing on your chest. For Bernadette Wilson, the videos were an eye-opener about two aggressive procedures. CPR and putting on a, a, a breathing machine. It doesn't work for cancer patients. What did you think before you saw the tapes? That it probably would work. What did you tell the doctors? That I don't want to be resuscitated. When I saw that gentleman laying there on that ventilator, that, that was difficult. You know, I wouldn't want that for me or anyone else. Studies show that most patients who watch these videos change their minds about what they want and choose less aggressive care. Harry? Why does this seem to be so difficult for doctors? Harry, when a patient comes to you and says, Doc, I'm going to beat this, and part of you agrees with them or wants to agree with them, it's hard to start that conversation. And I have made the mistake in my very own practice of delaying that conversation too long and watching one of my patients needlessly suffer at the end of their life because I wasn't able to properly coordinate end-of-life care. So, yes, it's a tough conversation, but we owe it to our patients to have it. John LaPoupe, thanks so much.